Chapter 2 of Fortnite was a joyride. We've had seasons that were really nostalgic and seasons that we just wanted to forget about. But two seasons from Chapter 2 are always in a consistent war with each other for the title of Best Season in Chapter 2, and that would be Chapter 2 Season 2 and Chapter 2 Season 4. Since I already did a video on Chapter 2 Season 2, let's go into Chapter 2 Season 4. This is a deep dive into Chapter 2 Season 4. Starting on August 27th and ending on December 1st of 2020, Chapter 2 Season 4 was a Marvel season. Being themed Nexus War, this season included many Marvel characters including Black Widow, Ghost Rider, Venom, Daredevil, Blade, Silver Surfer, and well, you get the point. There was a lot, and I didn't even cover the Battle Pass. Chapter 2 Season 4's Battle Pass was, well, you guessed it, entirely Marvel. Featuring Storm, Groot, Mystique, Doctor Doom, Wolverine, She-Hulk, and Thor, and Iron Man, this is one of the most beloved battle passes in Chapter 2. The Chapter 2 Season 4 map initially did not have many map changes, with the main change being the Fortilla being washed away and Pleasant Park turning into Doom's Domain. But the biggest map change that we saw this season was in the first update, 14.1. This saw the addition of Stark Industries as well as an entire biome called Upstate New York rifted onto the map and over the course of the season we would have small chunks of Marvel related land rifted onto the map. This season brought a ton new weapons and items like the Stark Industry Energy Rifles, Stark Industry Jetpack, and Fire Trap. Fishing was heavily revamped this season as well with the addition of the Pro Fishing Rod, Shield Fish, Jellyfish, Hop Flopper, Spicy Fish, and Thermal Fish being added at Season Launch, and the Vendetta Flopper and Midas Flopper being added during the season. The main additions to the season was the Marvel Mythics. In total, we had 13 new Mythics, 12 of our Marvel Mythics come into the game including Doctor Doom's Arcane Gauntlets, Doctor Doom's Mystical Bomb, Groot's Bamboo Shield, Silver Surfer's Board, Iron Man's Unibeam, Iron Man's Repulsor Gauntlets, Thor's Monia Strike, Wolverine's Claws, Storm's Whirlwind Blast, Black Panther's Kinetic Armor, She-Hulk's Fist, Venom's Smashing Grab, and the Witch's Broom for Halloween. With all of these mythics came a new game mode called Marvel Knockout where you used only the mythics to get the most eliminations. Also doing Chapter 2 Season 4 was Fort Nightmares. Titled Midas's Revenge, this Fort Nightmares brought us a lot. New skins were introduced along with new weapons and items including the Witch's Broom, Shadow Midas Drum Gun, Thermo Taffy, Jelly Bean, Candy Corn, Hot Drop, and Peppermint. From October 21st to November 3rd, Battle Royale introduced a new mechanic. When eliminated, you would return as a shadow and live to fight once again. You could dash through walls and slash people to try and get the Nightmare Royale. And the community loved it at launch. When you became a shadow, the voice chat and emotes became cooked and it just became one big meme. By the time Four Nightmares ended, it was absolutely hated, with people claiming it was the worst Four Nightmares ever. There would be 20 shadows jumping with one guy, and the shadows could phase through builds, so you can kind of see how that got annoying. I mean, just look at this Nick A30 clip here. Now these guys are trying to get me! <laughs> no! No! Oh! <laughs> That was only 4 ghosts, now imagine it was 10 or 20 against one player. Over time though, as people started looking back at this event, it became one of the most beloved Fortnite events to come out, and some even anxiously waited for its return. Also fun fact, because of Fortnite Mares, the reboot system was temporarily vaulted, and it remains the only time it's ever been vaulted since its introduction. The storyline this season was centered around Galactus, who eats worlds for breakfast. After the Zero Point emitted energy from the Season X end event, Galactus got attracted to the Zero Point's power and started flying to the island to eat it, sending his little minions in advance to scout the island. During the season, Gorgeous would spawn on the island spawning the little minions, the Gatherers. Players could kill the Gatherers and then use them to kill the Gorgeous, and get really good loot. From the start of the season, you could see Galactus in the sky, and as the season progressed he got closer and closer until the live event. In preparation, the Marvel superheroes and for some reason some villains came down to the Fortnite map to defeat Galactus before he could destroy the Fortnite island. With Iron Man leading the charge, he built explosive battle buses and used the zero points energy to multiply them and make them stronger. This all led to the live event on December 1st. 
The Devourer of Worlds was a fight against Galactus and started off with players on the Helicarrier 64. The event began with Galactus slapping us and destroying the Helicarrier. No way. Why are he looking at us, bro? Oh my god. What's he grabbing? Wait, is he gonna swipe us? He's gonna swipe us! Look, he's. No, he's gonna swipe us. Look, he's gonna just slap us! He's gonna slap us! Oh, oh my god! He's gone. Oh. Whoa. Anyways, Galactus went straight for the zero point and started sucking energy out of it. Iron Man played with our reality a bit and we drove the battle buses shooting Galactus' little minions. With the help of the Marvel superheroes, we went up Galactus' arm in a Star Wars reference and made our way to Galactus. This is funny. Don't panic. But I think he's funny. He's funny. <laughs> hey Blondie, got a bus over here that's getting a little hot. Oh! Fear not! I shall divert your strange war wagon! <laughs> war wagon. Yo, what? Driver! We're taking you up as Oh my. Just keep flying north and try not to let it freak you out, okay? Oh. Bad news? Galactus? Yeah, definitely. Well, not to obviously. Get you. In the end, Galactus ate all the battle buses and was sent back to where he came from. And we got a sneak peek of the next season storyline with the brief scene in Agent Jones' office. Yeah, I don't know what Oh. No. This is not possible. As you saw, after the live event, there was a countdown to Season 5 and players were no longer able to play Fortnite. Well that was a deep dive into Chapter 2 Season 4. This season had a lot to offer and there was actually more in the season than what I covered like the Marvel Skin Cups. Wait, this doesn't really make this a deep dive video then, but yet again I covered all the main points in the season. Uh, oh well. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. If you want to see other seasons covered, then drop them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I'm gonna leave you with this clip. Bye. Okay, go, 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 do, do, do. <laughs> okay, ready? Please work. It's gonna work. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, move. Move. Alright, I'll come back. I'm I'll stuck. come back for you. Wait, dude, I'm actually stuck. I'm stuck. Wait, I actually can't wait, move, get in, dude. Get in, get in. I can't get, get in. Get in. <laughs> wait, I'm gonna try to hit you. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Did I fix you can't! Oh! I'm stuck! <laughs>